Good morning to the GSM workshop. Last night I picked up a quite a rare British vehicle. <laughs> um, I gave a little teaser on another uh, YouTube channel a little while ago. I was picking this up. I haven't uh, let on to anybody what it is. Uh, but what I can say is it's one of the oldish, one of the older British vehicle companies. Uh, it was founded in 1899 originally. I think they started producing um, their vehicles in 1903, somewhere around there anyway. Um, my vehicle doesn't go that far back. Um, it's a 1967. Um, very British. Um, I used to have one of these makes oh, when I was 16. Um, so it's, it's in the workshop. It's a small project. It's 95% restored. Um, I picked it up um, in a condition I'm going to show you. It's got some quirky bits on it which will be disappearing. Uh, so, without teasing you too much, the bike is just over here. Um, oh, I'll let you know what it is. It is a motorbike. So, um, in the meantime, uh, before I get there, uh, it's, it's 1967. And what I'll do is I'll just pause you and I'll turn the camera around and I'll do the great unveiling and walk around of what this bike is. Continue watching. So I'm working through the workshop. No, it's not this bike. This is a Honda. It's not British. <laughs> it's in a, it's getting a very busy workshop lately. So here it is. Um, it even came with a British flag. A bit of a tatty one. Looks like it's been through the wars. So here's the bike. Um, and I'll do little T's. Uh, a little unveiling here. Oh, if I go over this way, see so it's got a beautiful tank. We'll just put the flag away. And here it is. Do you know what that is? That is a matchless. This is a 1967 matchless. It's a G15 CSR. It's a 750 twin. As you can see, I've been told the engine's been totally rebuilt. It's not running right now. Um, just give you a quick walk around and I'll go back into some detail. Oil tank, it does have a, a chip just here. I'm going to have to fix that. Registration plate's got some damage here. That's an easy fix. It looks like it's been powder coated as well. Seat has been recovered. Then here's the other side. Here's the, the toolbox. And the rear. Funny little exhausts. Primary chain cover. It's got dual Amol carburetors. And the front. Nice chrome. Everything is all being powder coated from the looks of it and the headlight shell all being replaced. If I just turn steering around, I'll show you the other side. And you can see uh, the brakes not being connected. And, and you've probably seen why go up the road holder forks by Norton. It has brand new instruments. See, 0.3 of a mile. I've always been using you. As an ammeter and a speedometer. Oh, sorry, a ref counter. What am I thinking? The other side is a speedometer. Down here. Now, the worst part is it's got these stupid handlebars on it. And this is why the brake isn't connected because I don't think the cable is long enough. Even the choke cable is stretched and the throttle cable is stretched. And these horrible red grips. <laughs> So, first thing, handlebars are going to come off later today. I have another set of flatter style handlebars to go on here. They're going to go on it right away. Um, the gearbox, if I could just wriggle it. Oh, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but the actual gearbox is not tightened up. Look back into here, and this is loose. This nut is loose. And the adjustment for the primary chain 
is probably not being adjusted. Has a magneto here. Here's, a, here's the leads. Kind of interesting looking leads actually. So it looks like when it's fired up, I can actually see through them. What if he's like, oh, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Frame is all being, looks like it's being powder coated. Swinging arm, powder coated. Chrome looks in reasonable condition. Got just enough patina. Um, these haven't been repainted yet. I'm going to repaint these. Uh, I got decals to go on here. I have no idea what goes in here. I've been researching this. There is screws. I have no idea. If anybody out there with a mattress G15 has one, let, please let me know what goes in here and I'll try and get it. Air filter, all been powder coated. Um, yeah, that's a quick walk around of this mattress G15. What do I need to do? Handlebars, uh, new tires, get that sorted out, bolted in properly. Um, there's no chain on there right now. Uh, I thought I was going to have to buy a chain. I will do that. And it came with a lot of little bits of spares. Um, as soon as I got, I'll be working on this today. It's, it's a bit wet and miserable outside, so I'm going to be working in the workshop. It did come with all these spares. Uh, there's a new chain. There's a link. I got the, uh, the cables for the clutch and the brake. I guess these are the primary chains in here. Uh, some sprockets and odds and ends and all sorts of bits and pieces, which I haven't been through properly yet to, uh, to catalog and put away. So, hope you enjoy this little new project. I will be doing videos as I'm going along. Here it is, apart from the stupid handlebars, which I hate. <laughs> I think it's a North American thing. Um, I got the impression as well, because you probably know I live in Alberta, Canada. And I moved here 22 years ago. I kind of collect British things, uh, rare ones. This may be very rare, in uh, certainly in Alberta, in the province where we live, but in Canada, full stop. Um, this will be for sale later on, um, probably at the end of the summer. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, this is a business. So I do these things to sell, even though this is a very good looking bike. Um, we'll see how it goes when it's all done. So a few things to do. As you see, the Jag is in the background. Um, Range Rover, the only Japanese thing is the Honda. So thanks for watching and I'll keep you updated.